Let's teach ourselves restraint and not celebrate excessively. Iago told me what to do. I'll make sure I do. Iago is most honest. Now I've married my wife, but we haven't boned. I'm going to do it. And I can't blame him. And I'll bet she's active too, in bed. Indeed, she's beautiful and delicate. What pretty eyes she has. She's pretty, yet I think she's modest. And when she speaks, is it not a call to love? She is indeed perfection. Well, happiness to them both. Come, Lieutenant, I have a jug of wine, and we have a pair of Cypress men that would toast to wealth of a fellow. I get drunk quite quickly, and I wish courtesy to invent some other way to entertain ourselves. Come on, my friend. One cup. I'll drink in your place. I did drink one cup tonight, and that was quite watered down. And behold, how drunk I already am. I am unfortunately a light drinker, and I and dare not to task my weakness with any more. What are you talking about, man? To the night of celebration. Fine, I'll do it, but I won't like it. It feels good to be a gangster, a real. One cup with the amount which he has drunk tonight already. He'll be as ready to fight and offend it as a young girl's dog. Now, my fool, Rodrigo. Love has turned him almost the wrong side out. To Desdemona he has toasted gallons, and he's on guard duty. The lads of Cyprus, noble swelling spirits, have I tonight gotten drunk? And they are guards too. Now, amongst this flock of drunkards, I will put our Cassio in some action that may offend the entire island. Two hours later. Of our general. Ooh, I'm down. I'll drink as much as you do. Oh, sweet England, more wine! God's in charge, and there be souls must be saved, and there be souls must not be saved. It's true, good lieutenant. Speaking for myself, no offense to you, nor anyone else, I hope to be saved. As do I, good lieutenant. Let's stop this drinking and get down to business. God forgive our sins. By the way, I don't want anyone thinking I'm a drunk. This is my right hand, and this is my left hand. I am not drunk. I can stand well enough, and I can speak just fine. Yep, that's good. Yeah, I'm drunk. That was legitness. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm glad we got that cleared up. And you know that I'm not drunk. We better get going to a platform to keep watch. It's getting late. Does that soldier, the one who just left? Yeah, he's a good soldier. Probably one of the best. But the thing is, I'm kind of worried that Estello trusts him a bit too much. It could be bad for Cypherus if we let it keep happening. Is he usually like this, though? Oh, yes. He drinks a ton. He's no self-control when it comes to drinking. Don't you think we should probably talk to the general about this? Rodrigo. I need you to follow the lieutenant as quickly as you can. I can't believe Othello is just letting Cassio be in, car in charge of stuff, even though he has such a horrible drinking problem. Maybe this is something we should bring up from our results. I don't want to be the one who talks to Othello about him. I care a lot about Cassio. I'd rather help him than do that. Wait, do you hear something? Oh, oh! You fool! You idiot! <laughs> I can't believe he did that to me. I'll beat him up for it. Fight me. Are you testing me? <laughs> I've fallen and I can't get up. Please, Cassia, don't start a fight. Let go of me. I'll fight you too. No, you're drunk. Drunk? this crazy. No more fighting. This is insane. I have no idea how this all happened. One minute everyone is happy as could be, and next minute this happened. 
I can assure you that I had no part of starting this crazy fight. What happened, Cassio? Why did you start all this fighting? What has gotten into you? I'm sorry, sir, but in this moment, I'm not able to speak. Montano, what got into you to act this way? You have always been known by even the wisest people to be so calm and collected. Worthy Othello, I am badly wounded. Your officer, Iago, can inform you. While well, I spare speech, as it hurts to talk. I have done nothing wrong, to my knowledge, unless it was a sin to defend myself when I was attacked. Now by heaven, tell me, how did this happen? I will never forgive whoever did this. Tis monstrous, Diago. Who began it? I know you are close to Cassio, but if you deliver more or less than the truth, you are no soldier. I would never bash Cassio. But still, I must say the truth. Everything was fine. Montano and I were speaking, and then suddenly a fellow comes along, out crying for help while being chased by Cassio. I chased him, but he got away. And when I got back, Cassio and Montana were fighting with swords. I can't say more than that, but nobody's perfect. And even the best man sometimes loses control and strikes out in rage. Cassio was wrong to hurt Montano, who was only trying to help him, but I'm sure the guy who ran away must have offended Cassio in some terrible way. I know how honest Diago is, so I must believe him. Cassio, I love thee, but never more be officer of mine. You've done it! You've woken my wife! What's wrong? It's all good now. Come to bed. I will personally see to it that your wounds are treated. Lead them off. Hello, darkness, my old friend. Why is my advice so good? This advice is free, and I give truth. It will be easy to get a fellow back, because Desdemona is so kind and has her own freedom. The more we'll listen to her. How am I then a villain if I'm giving good advice to Cassio? And while this fool is pleading to Desdemona, I'll make Othello think she is helping. Cassio out of her lust for him. It's the perfect plan. The Fitness Gram Pacer Test is a multi-stage aerobic capacity test that progressively gets more difficult as it continues. 